travel with me. Hey fellow humans, Mina here. Um, I, before we get into today's video, I just have, well one, I just passed a shit ton of students and sorry my face is in the shade, it's just how it is, it's how it's gonna be. And uh, we said hi, that was great. And also, uh, while I was walking to get to this location, shit ton of tires, uh, I was with a friend and uh, we just, I don't know, maybe half an hour just standing watching this extreme drama unfold of a, uh, oh, that's a dump over there, of uh, essentially, actually we don't have, we, we were trying to guess what was going on, but none of the car, we are like, someone all, there's like a lineup of people and they were pissed and he's like punching his car and he's like, there's people that are trying to punch each other, Michelin tire, and they're like trying to, I don't know what was going on because they were across the road so we couldn't really make out what they were saying but they were yelling and there were like people holding them back from being punched and the cops were called and none of the cars looked damaged although it looked gotta just funk although it looked like someone hit a car and that's why they were pissed but we don't know none of the cars there was like three cars involved and a bike and they were just they were blocking up the passageway and it was a whole mission it was such a such an event <laughs> and we stayed until the cops came and and even the cops were like oh my god calm down <laughs> and uh now they're calm so we left and parted ways and here we are <laughs> um i still don't know what happened i just know that he was pissed and it was amazing to watch because <laughs> it didn't happen to me <laughs> so yeah anyway uh mental health y'all know i'm a huge advocate for mental health and may it is May, which means it is Mental Health Month. And uh, so we have to do a video. I've been doing one the last few years now. So I'm gonna do just one video this month, I guess, on mental health. And uh, it's gonna be a little different than previous years, I guess. Um, just before I get into it. Also, sorry for the noise, I'm on a main road. You know what I, how it is, main roads are noisy because traffic and stuff. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, uh, lost my train of thought hold on sorry for this i'm just holding the camera differently because my fingers were hurting uh so yeah uh before i get into the mental health topic of this video uh i will link down below the trevor project and once again they are an lgbtq like suicide prevention place hotline kind of stuff i know things we need and they're really good and uh i'm not sponsored again or anything but if you feel like donating to them i have in the past um feel free you don't have to or you can just share and spread the word because uh, you know a lot of people don't have it as lucky as i did growing up and uh they need someone they can talk to and uh the trevor project's a great place to uh start so yeah mental health month uh what are some things that you guys do, my fellow humans, that is good for your mental health? And that's what we're talking about today. First of all, I want to hear in the comments down below things that you do besides writing, if you're a writer, or reading, because reading's obviously going to be one of mine. <laughs> but uh, what are some things that are good for you? Small things, big things, like do you take a walk? Is the car drama today. <laughs> uh, uh, no one got hurt or hit. They were just Koreans like the Honga people. Uh, look at the trees. They're all green and pretty. These were all cherry blossom trees and now they're just boring green trees. Well, they're not boring, but they're, they are green. They're not pretty pink flowered trees anymore. Well, those ones are kind of flowery, but it's a different type of tree. It's not pretty pink ones, though pretty wet ones <laughs> yeah I'll show you when I get there <laughs> um, so things that I do that keep my hint like if I'm having a bad health or in your case if you're having a bad mental health day what are some things you do uh, or that make you happy and not necessarily do because I will tell you some of mine yesterday oh uh, well first see now it's like white flowers kind of thing will eventually fall and then by summer this will be another green tree as one does this looks like a forest but it's really not it's just a bunch of trees and you park a lot right behind it <laughs> oh yeah so yesterday 
Now, I don't recommend doing this if you're having a bad mental health day, spending money, because <laughs> you can end up spending a lot, like I did. I didn't have a bad mental health day yesterday. I'm just feeling really nostalgic and really nerdy, because like, y'all know I'm a huge Pokemon player. And uh, I'm, I'm super into Pokemon and like Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh and all that, all, all that stuff, all the nerdy things. And uh, I've been feeling really nostalgic. So yesterday, I was on eBay, and I went and bought myself three very, very rare, but very expensive, but not as expensive as the really, 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 really rare ones, which I really want, but there's no way I'm spending my entire bank account on them. <laughs> I bought three really rare Digimon cards. They were like, all three of them in total count to like $700 Canadian dollars-ish. So they ain't cheap, but I have the means and money to do so now. And these cards make me happy. Now, I'm not saying you need to spend money to do things to make you happy. In fact, if you're in a really bad mental state, that's probably a bad idea unless it's like therapy or something. And again, I wasn't in a bad mental state. I was actually in a really good mental state yesterday. Yes, it was a great day. But uh, have just uh, I have cards already at home, non-rare, non-expensive ones, stuff I had for years in my box of nerd. I like to call it my box of nerd. Um, I just brought them back with me from Canada the last time I was there. And I was looking through the cards and it, looking through those cards and things like that made me happy. Like just having the cards and reading them and remembering all the fun times in my childhood watching Digimon and Pokemon and all that stuff. Other things besides really, really expensive cards. Um, hello, literal dump. We walked by here before. It's nowhere new. Or, uh, it's just, it's really hot out today. I'm actually wearing shorts, but not that you can see. So, uh, yeah. And they're building something there. I, I actually remember what was there. It was a house and, or an apartment complex, and now it's gone. And you know, they're building something, who knows what. We'll find out in a few months. So, yeah. Um, other things that I do that are good for my mental health is YouTube. Not making videos, but watching videos. And like Netflix. And like comfort videos. Like I watch, like love watching uh, Book Talk. <laughs> uh, well, not on TikTok. I don't really go on TikTok. But I love watching people talk about books. Well, I don't know if it's a to toxic trait or not, but I love reading reviews or watching people review a book that I absolutely like love. 10 out of 10. It was like a perfect book for me. And, uh, I love reading or watching people who just trash that book apart. Like they hated the book's guts and they're like giving every reason why. And I'm like, okay, those are valid points, but I still love the book. Cause like, you know, we each have our own opinions and values, but uh, that's my toxic trait. I love, after I finish reading a book, like that I've read like five stars, which is almost every book pretty much. I like going on Goodreads and uh, reading all of the one-star reviews and people just trashing my favorite books. I don't know why that makes me feel good, <laughs> but it does. It's really weird. Um, but I just love seeing why things, what, what, I love hearing people's perspective on why they hated something that I absolutely adored. And sometimes they'll bring up a good point and I'll be like, yeah, that was toxic in the book. I agree with you, but I still love reading the book kind of thing, you know? I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> So obviously reading is another one. I feel like if you're a writer, you have to be a reader too. Um, side note, this empty lot right here, there is a building here. I walked by it for years. And then one day they had like the construction blankets up and they're like, they took down the building and now it's an empty lot. Do you think I can remember what the hell was there despite walking at minimum four years past this place? cannot for the life of me remember what the hell was there. Was it an apartment complex? Was it a house? Was it uh, uh, like stores? Who knows? I don't remember and it's driving me absolutely insane. It's a few places on this road that happened although so, and it's just it's driving me insane. I don't know what was there but uh yeah. <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving on another topic three another topic another thing that i enjoy is just collecting things in general um things that make me happy like i love collecting comics um i love collecting 
uh, figures. Uh, so these all require spending money, I guess, but like if you have the means, you could go for it. <laughs> Uh, uh, and I love collecting stickers and and uh, post notes <laughs> and just things that make me happy in my home environment really like like Pokemon and Digimon and like stickers and cute socks and I also have a really impressive business card collection I might have probably have the biggest one in the world not gonna brag, but <laughs> I mean I am <laughs> but yeah <laughs> um, hold on for readjusting the hand and holding this okay but yeah, so um, I I like collecting things, and collecting things makes me happy. And you can collect free things too, like business cards, like I do. Um, so you don't necessarily have to um, collect the expensive stuff, like figures, because those can be cheap. They can be expensive. It all depends on what figures you buy and uh, where you buy them. Um, I have some really cheap figures. I have some really really expensive ones. But yeah, so I like collecting things. I like making my home as absolutely nerdy as possible is essentially what I'm getting at because having a home that makes me feel comfortable in my little nerdy bubble um, is really good for my mental health. Like if I had to like live in a, like live in a minimalistic space, which is good for some people and I, I applaud people who can live minimalistically but my place is not minimalist so uh, I can't do that and I, it just wouldn't make me happy I just wouldn't feel like the home is lived in and so my mental health would probably uh, wouldn't be as high like I wouldn't be depressed or anything but uh, I just wouldn't feel at home and not feeling at home is not always good for one's mental health so I like to nerd it up you know so that's what I do and also, why are you sleeping today? Oh my god. Um, so reading, writing, collecting, a metric shit ton of things. <laughs> um, and like I said, collecting things can be free. Uh, so yeah, uh, and watching Netflix really, or like other streaming services, that's another thing that I like doing. If I'm having a bad day, I'll rewatch really watch like something that I really love or I'll watch my favorite YouTube videos that I've seen like a billion times from my favorite creators and I just side note again this was a cafe called Always Fine they were dying from the start and I was waiting for the day they closed and they kind of did then they reopened I don't know what they are anymore because they're not a cafe they, they just got like random fish tanks and gerbils and supplement. I don't know what they are, but I don't know how to go in and ask them like, what What are you now? Are you still a cafe? Like, what are you? And I still see no customers, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, what was that talking about? Oh yeah, I'd rewatch things that make me comfort. Like people, like again, people talking about, ranting about how they hate a book I love. I don't know why, like I said, it makes me feel good. Especially if it's a well done video. Um, I mean, that's not the only thing I watch on YouTube. I watch a variety of things like Bar Rescue. I love Bar Rescue. <laughs> Having a bad day, I'll watch John Tapper yell at someone. Um, unfortunately, I can't watch him on Paramount Plus because they won't allow me to create, they'll allow me to create a Canadian account. But Canadian Paramount Plus does not have Bar Rescue. American one does. And even if I switch my VPN to America, they're like, no, your payment details have to be from America. I'm like, screw you. I want to give you money so I can watch Bar Rescue. I will pay you money for the entire streaming service just to watch Bar Rescue. And will they let me? No. So screw you. So I just watch compilations from the Bar Rescue channel on YouTube. <laughs> but like, I will literally pay you money so I can watch. But they don't want me to. Why is that? That's a terrible business plan, right? Is it just me? like don't you want my money i'm willing to give you my hard-earned money for one show i'm sure they got other good shit but like i'm willing to give you my money for one show on this streaming service so that i can watch over and over again why won't you let me do that i don't know at least i can watch them for free on youtube and hoarders <laughs> um which you can watch full episodes on the american youtube uh yay vpns <laughs> uh full episodes which is great and uh 
Hoarders makes me feel better because if I'm feeling like my place is dirty, I'll watch an episode of Hoarders and then I realize my place is not even remotely close to being dirty. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we go over here and then cross. So, yeah. Just the little things, you know? It's, it's really the little things that make mental health like that you got to take time for yourself really and do what makes you happy and if writing is the only thing that makes you happy then you write the hell out of, out of doesn't matter what it could be a journal you could be poems whatever mental health is important and uh there's no health no no harm in seeking help and therapy uh i i highly advocate it so yeah, I guess that's it. It's a really rambly video and there's a lot of non-off-topic stuff in here, but whatever. My channel, I can talk about whatever I want, I guess. So yeah, how about you guys, my fellow humans? Like I posed at the start of the video, what are some things that you do that are good for your mental health? Share with me. I'd love to hear them. Let's get to know each other and uh, yeah. So that's all. All I gotta say for now, if you like this video, be sure to like and be sure to boop and that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will lick you on the nose and none of us want that. And uh, don't forget that my debut LGBT plus novel, Whoop. South, is now available in paperback, hardback, and ebook. And if there is me one, links are in the description down below. And if you do pick up a copy, I'd really, really uh, appreciate a review on Amazon and or good for you to was one of my students. <laughs> it really helps an author out. So, yeah. Anywho, that's all I gotta say for now. If you want to keep hearing more about stuff, be sure to follow me on your favorite socials. Links below. Stay safe, take care, and stay hydrated. And bye! Sorry.